If you've been on this channel for more than five minutes, you really should know I like to collect merchandise of the Ruby character Weiss Schnee. I collect everything, from the highest quality of figures to the simplest of Funko Pops, to pictures printed onto pillows to legitimately the most adorable plushie you've ever seen in your life, oh my god. I've got wall scrolls, paper fans, autographs from her voice actor, a plate. They sold a plate at one point. However, what is a man to do when all possible official sources have run dry and one has to wait for new Weiss merch to be made? The answer is simple, fan creations. From these frankly amazing cosplay prints to a full-on replica of her sword Myrtonaster, I am no stranger when it comes to going to unofficial sources to grow my collection. Which brings me to you today to show you the newest addition to my collection. Lately, I've gotten into the very interesting habit of commissioning any artist I can really find to draw Weiss for me. And I'm still trying to find the best way to properly show off everything that I've acquired up to this point, and that'll probably come a little later. However, this one is extra special, so I'm gonna show it to you right here and now. Right here, you'll see this lovely drawing made by Marco Studios, who is truly talented. I have a lot of his art on my walls. You can't really see it from this angle, but trust me, it's there. And when I noticed that he had made a drawing of Ruby, but never one of Weiss, I knew what I had to do. And that basically entailed going onto his website, ordering a commission, learning that he was currently too busy, but he would put me on a waiting list, and eventually, many months later, he would get back to me, and he said he could, and he would, and everything worked out, and as you can see, here it is right here, it is absolutely lovely. However, if that was all there was to say, I wouldn't be making a video about this. Nah, no, here's the thing. <laughs> when I bought it, not only did I get this amazing drawing, I got a full-on print of it. Look at this. This is incredible. You can even tell that I'm the one that commissioned it because her necklace is my little blue coin channel logo. That's a little something I like to do to make sure that anybody who sees this stuff knows who, who's responsible for funding such magnificent art. Now, I love this drawing so incredibly much that I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I am gonna get this thing framed, and I did, and I love it. Now, if you're wondering just how on earth I managed to do that so quickly, the Mad Lad sent me two prints? I'm not sure if this was an accident or not. I'm gonna have to ask about that, but um, I'm not complaining. I'm honestly thinking about maybe framing this one too and hanging it up into a different part of the room just because I think it would be funny. So that's basically all there is for it today. Um, I just really, really, really wanted to show off how amazing this looked. I adore it. And uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have to figure out where on earth I'm even going to hang this thing. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm kind of running low on room. That's gonna, that, 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 that was always going to be a problem, but it's really starting to get to uh, a problematic degree. Wish me luck on that, and I'll see you next time.